Hello guys, hello designers. Today I'm doing a super quick tutorial on how to use Affinity Designer and specifically how to size or resize the file you've already set up and also how to change DPI. You may ask why you actually want this, but um, it depends on where your illustration is going. For example, I've come across that um, if somebody wants to reference your work online in the internet or you submit your work to participate in a content contest or any other reason, then they ask for a file to be a specific size and if it's going to the internet it has to be 72 dpi size. However, if, if you want to print your work and you want to keep the quality of the work, then it has to be 300 dpi. So to be able to manage things like that in Affinity Designer, that's why I'm doing that quick tutorial because I actually found um, I couldn't really find how to do it very quickly. It took me some time, so I hope it helps you. Dive in. So I am in Affinity Designer. So let's go and set up a file. So I press new document and um, I usually work with um, uh, 2000 by 2000 um, file and I keep my DPI pretty high. So here I'm going to choose 300. Okay, so I set up my file. Right, so now it's a complete blank file. Okay, let's add an illustration so it looks real. Um, so press place image. Um, I am gonna look up an illustration here. I think this one is cool. Okay. Right, here is my illustration. Okay, so I... How do you change the size of the file? So you press here, oh, you can't see it actually. Over here on the three, uh, three dots, like a file with three dots, and you look for a, an option to resize. So you press on resize, right? And here you have an option to change the size. So now the width and the height is 2000 pixel. Um, at your points, let me see, picas, inches, feet, yards, millimeters, centimeters, meters, pixel. Okay, actually, I set up in points. So I know for the fact that I want to submit my illustration for an online contest and they are specifically asking for an illustration to be sized as, and let me do it as I speak, 0 0.80 by 0 0.80 in pixels. That's what they want, so I've, I've set it up. Um, if, you, if that's the only thing that you can do, you have to press apply, otherwise your changes won't be saved, right? But on top of that, I also need to uh, change the DPI, and that's where it took me uh, a while to find it. So you just press on an arrow to go right here, um, and you see 300 DPI, so all you need to do is click on it and put 72, okay? Right, so at the end again, don't forget to apply, otherwise your changes won't be safe. So now if I go back, I should probably, um, right, actually, look at this, it says 2000 by 2000. Okay, let's check again. We'll press resize. Hmm, interesting, it hasn't been changed. Let me go back to pixels, press 0.80. By 0 0.80 and I press apply right maybe I have to um, yes it looks like you have to individually uh, save uh, every single step every single change so now you see the size of the image change 1080 by 1080 and I'll just double check if um, the DPI uh, is been kept 72 okay so that's it that's uh, as easy as that you can then export your illustration and send it um, to the wherever you're sending it for so. watching i hope uh, this video was helpful let me know if there are any other functions you're struggling in affinity designer and i will try to help you if i can uh, thanks bye